So you've been in real estate for how many years now? I've been in real estate since 2017. Okay. So how many years is that? That's like five, six years. Okay. All right. right? And, and, and what was it that like, what was the, like the beginning of like you making that decision? Like, I mean, was that like something you wanted to do all your whole life? Like when you were a little kid, you wanted to be a real estate agent? Or, like, <laughs> when what? I was a little kid, I wanted to be an attorney actually. Really? Okay. Yeah. I right. wanted to be an attorney when I was younger. Why? Do you and, like to argue? Is that, is that what it is? Um, I like You're to good? win. Okay. You like to win. I like to win. Yes. Win I'm arguments too though. with winning. And arguments especially. Anything. Right? It could anything. be anything. It could okay. be in the gym, arguments, okay. like literally anything. Sports. I want to win. Do you play sports? sports? I did, okay. uh, no contact sports, so I did cheerleading, gymnastics, okay. dance, but I like to perform as well, okay. that's perfect. And so that's why you are That's why you like social media? That's why I like social media. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, it's a great way to connect. Because you're on camera a lot, I mean, you do a <laughs> yeah. lot of social media, so we're going to talk I, a little bit more about that too. I enjoy so. it. Okay. Um, but yeah, I grew up playing sports. I was actually really shy when I was younger. Really? So it took a lot for me to come out of my shell. Okay. But I knew that if I wanted to be successful, mm -hmm. I couldn't be shy. And that is something that I would have to work on, a skill and a, a new characteristic of me that I'd have to force myself to have. Right. And so I decided to just, you know, put myself out there and, you know, just be more social, less okay. shy. So, so you were a, a good kid growing up? I was, Or yeah. bad kid? No. No? <laughs> terrible. I was a terrible did, kid. Did you get good grades though? I mean... You know, <laughs> I would say I was like average when it comes okay. to grades. I wasn't an overachiever when it comes to my grades because even when I was a kid, I knew that, you know, I'm really not going to use much of this when I get older. How is this directly going to help me? I'm going to do good enough to graduate, but I don't need to be an A plus student. That was my mentality right, like back right. then because I already knew that I was gonna be some sort of entrepreneur, like work for myself. Eventually. So you, you, you knew for, at a young age that you did not wanna be like an employee type person. Correct, yeah. You knew that. Mm -hmm. And why, why do you think you're different? Because 95% of the world, they're just gonna be an employee. Yeah. What, what, what was it, like what was the allure of wanting to be an entrepreneur? Having freedom, having okay. freedom and being able to make my own decisions and calling the shots and being able to spend more time with my family okay. and my loved ones. All right. So that really drove me to, to become an entrepreneur. And do you notice that because you're kind of newer in mm -hmm. being an entrepreneur and you're kind of getting your business going and you're kind of on your way to the top, you're yeah. doing really well right now. But do you notice that you have more time or less time sometimes? That's a great because <laughs> Because yeah. think about it, right? We all get this, you know, freedom lives right. here and it's awesome and being an entrepreneur and everything. But the truth is mm -hmm. in the beginning years, you're working your ass off. No, that's true. Would you agree with that? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I just closed the deal before I came here and right. I was driving for hours. So right. yeah. Right. Yeah. I would say that the goal, you know, eventually would be to retire and have freedom and have own multiple companies. Okay. Um, but in the beginning, you do not have as much time as you might you might think. Yeah, right. you're definitely gonna be working more than you would at your nine to five job. Way more. It's kind of like that, right? The, you know, everybody sells that dream mm -hmm. of like freedom and choices and options. You know, obviously wealth on the beach. Okay, yeah. everybody wants the wealth on the beach, uh -huh. but most people they don't want to do what it takes to get the wealth on the beach. Do you see that? Yeah, I mean, oh, 100%, yeah. But I think that when you are an entrepreneur, even though you're working more hours, it's coming from a different place because you know you're working for yourself, you know your purpose, you know why you're doing it, so it's easier for you to want to do it because it's for you and your, your bigger goals and your dreams as opposed to for somebody else, you know? If you're working a nine to five and you're working for somebody else, you could have been spending that eight hours of time doing something for yourself right. or doing something that directly correlates with your own goals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so how is it that a young woman in real estate, okay? Uh -huh. I mean like, so you go into real estate and not only do you go into real estate, you go into commercial real estate, by well, the way. I started in residential. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I started in residential and then after one year of doing residential real estate, I started doing commercial real estate as well. Okay. So now I do both, mostly commercial. Okay. Both. And so why why commercial? Because nobody would ever, at least most people are not going to choose commercial. Right. So why did you choose commercial? 
you know, there's more opportunity in commercial. Okay. Um, there's a lot more opportunity. There's a lot more opportunity to work with business owners. So why don't most people go? Why don't most? It's not easy. Going, that's why. It's, it's harder. Not easy, it's why harder. is it harder? So it's what's harder, the difference? It's harder. It's more complex. Okay. Um, there are many different aspects to commercial real estate. Different types of commercial real estate. It could be confusing. It could be intimidating. And there's not a lot of leaders in commercial real estate who are willing to help somebody who is new because mm -hmm. it's not easy. So you have to find the right mentor and just be resourceful. Mm -hmm. Like I wanted to do commercial real estate and I was working at a residential brokerage. Okay. So I already knew that my broker couldn't necessarily like help me with the questions that I had. So I called top brokers at like MGR, Lee and Associates, uh, Marcus and Milchop, and I asked them for help, and I paid them a cut of my commission wow. initially, oh, so they could wow. help me. Wow! And then after doing like two or three deals, so you put your money where your mouth is. Yeah. Huh? I mean, you, you you were like, all right, I'm gonna pay somebody. Yes. For how important is it to pay somebody like right. to be a mentor? Is it important? Um, I think that I mean nobody wants to work for free, and right. you shouldn't expect anything from anybody. You know, I think that you should be willing to pay them. <laughs> Um, some people, I think, feel like, oh, you should be my mentor. Right. And you, you're like, well, why? <laughs> why right. should I? I don't have to, you know? What's in it for me? So you can't be selfish. You have to be willing to give back. And you don't just want a coffee. You don't want to just be like, hey, can I have an hour of your time and I'll buy you coffee? No, like you wouldn't want more, right? right. I mean, I think you well, would. Well, I, I think it's interesting. <laughs> well, no, I think it's an interesting subject because, uh -huh. because for the real estate business, I noticed this in because I know I have a lot of real estate friends. I noticed that in the real estate business, realtors are always willing to pay for mentorship. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the, the guy that sold me my house five, six years ago in, in Rancho, uh, you know, he pays his mentor like a thousand dollars a month, you yeah. know, just to get on like a call a week, like uh -huh. one call a week, he pays him a thousand bucks a month. Yeah. And so, but for some reason, other industries, especially financial services or mm -hmm. multi-level businesses and things like that, people in those businesses, I notice that they are not willing to, a lot of them are not wow. willing to pay for mentorship because, because they, they feel like, okay, well, if I make money and I do well, then this person's going to benefit or whatever, mm -hmm. which is fine. But they should be mm -hmm. really, I, I think realtors make more money on average mm -hmm. than a lot of people in some of these other industries. I think because of that reason, because yeah. they're willing to put their money where their mouth is. They're willing to pay a mentor. They're willing to be accountable. Mm -hmm. They're willing to, to show up every day and go in the office and drive a hundred million miles a day <laughs> and fucking get it done. Uh -huh. like they're, they're willing to figure it out yes. like, and just to do it. So I don't know. What, what do you think? I mean, do you no, notice I think that's that too? True, 100%. I mean, yeah. Uh, with realtors. But I think that, I mean, as a real estate agent, you go into the industry, at least I did, expecting that I'm going to have to solve problems, put out fires, negotiate deals, mm -hmm. and in financial services, I'm not sure if that's what people go in you know, to that industry and expect that they're gonna negotiate or put out fires, mm -hmm. solve problems. Right. Um, but well, they, 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 might, they might feel like they're gonna do those things. I just mm -hmm. think that there's a mentality in some industries and I wasn't one of those people. I was willing, I, I went to every freaking seminar. I paid out tens of thousands yeah. of dollars early on to find mentorship, to spend time with people. I was willing to be on all the calls and all the conference mm -hmm. calls and all the different you know things that I needed to do because I, I just wanted to be successful. I just wanted to win. Yeah. I, I wanted to be somebody. I wanted to change my life and I knew the only way and the best way and the easiest way and the fastest way was for me to pay, you know, to pay somebody or really be accountable to somebody mm -hmm. that knew what they were doing yeah. and had the success that I wanted. Mm -hmm. So I figured if I just followed this dude, I was going to be way more successful than most everybody else. Oh yeah. Because most most people aren't gonna do it. Most, no, people, most people are not people willing are to do not the work. Willing to do the work right. or take that risk. And a lot of people they don't believe in themselves. Right. Thank you for watching our short clips on Alonzo Academy. If you'd like to watch the next short clip, click here. If you'd like to watch the entire podcast, click here.